We are here for brunch at the Wake, the start of my birthday celebration, and wait till you see this. Hello, fellow travelers. Hello. It's Neil here. And I'm Kimberly. And this is Two, Two Travel and Tour. Tour. So let's start. Oh. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And that was the amazing presentation for just the clam chowder. And I have, what kind, I got shrimp. I forget what kind of shrimp it is, but it's shrimp. We're gonna have a copy of the menu at the end of the video so you can take a look at everything that's available for brunch at the wake. Well, I am trying a different Benedict and it is an avocado Benedict. So I'm anxious to try that. And it has a lime hollandaise. And Dewey is having another Benedict. And which one is that, Dewey? This is called The Wake. The Wake. And it's got pork belly and spinach. Neil is gonna have some French toast. And it is an amazing French toast. That's brioche. Look at the nuts and the berries and everything on there. Gorgeous presentation. One of the things I like to do when given the opportunity is try different Benedicts. It's something me and my friend Megan always do. If we're at a different place and they have a Benedict that we've never seen, we have to try it. So today we are trying both of these, Megan. My biscuit is nice and crispy as you can see. Oh, that's good, it's completely different. Look at that. I think that's Swiss chard on there too. Amazing, delicious. Definitely a hit with me. And how's yours, Dewey? He's chewing. It must be okay. <laughs> it must it's, be it's good. Very good. So I couldn't. I wasn't sure what the pork would do because I'm used to normal breakfast fare on on a Benedict, but it's actually very good. So Neil, tell me how that French toast is. Let's find out. I'll say it's a nice sized portion for sure. Mm -hmm. Has some fruit on it. I did say it come with banana, but didn't say about the strawberry and the extra berries, but that's a good thing, I like that. I do approve. That's very much a, a breakfast food, I would say. <laughs> and the sweetest part of the meal, dessert. I have the panna cotta, which I've never seen anything quite like this. I mean, Look how beautiful this is. Oh. Toasted pine nuts. There's, there's all this goodness. What's kind of kind of like a yogurt or something? Mm. Or a custard. It's creamy goodness. It is that. Oh my god, I think that has to be one of the best desserts I've ever had. Unbelievable, I wasn't expecting that. I certainly wasn't. Wow, what a wonderful surprise. <laughs> and you had a surprise with your dessert too, didn't you, Neil? Uh, yeah, I was expecting crepes and I got a piece of cake. But then I realized, you know, actually it was a crepe cake. Yes. So, hence the way it looks. Let's see what this is uh, all about. Oh, I think I can eat that. <laughs> I think it's okay. And Dewey seems to be doing fine with it. It's good, huh? Definitely. It's it's very light and flavorful, and, and it's not. Um, it looked like it would be something kind of heavy, and you always imagine crepes mm -hmm. to be light, and it tastes like light like crepes should be. So good. Isn't this the sweetest from the wait stuff? Happy birthday for my birthday tomorrow. That is so wonderful. This has been an absolutely amazing experience on Virgin. All the food has been incredible and there's more to see and I cannot wait to see you on the next vlog.